All right, fellas, Outlaw V2 here. Um, I've been trying to do a fucking backup Tremblone video literally for, fuck, like three weeks. And <laughs> my YouTube skills are fucking not good, obviously, clearly. The tech has outpaced me. All right, but <coughs> sorry, I'm fucking sick. Um, that's not what I wanted to talk about. I finished my trend cycle, my Tremblone Enanthate cycle. I was doing 300 milligrams a week of trend Enanthate. 500 milligrams a week of testosterone sipionate. I was dividing that into two injections uh, per week, a Monday injection and a Thursday injection. Um, so I was running 250 milligrams per of testipionate per injection and 150 milligrams of trenbolone enanthate um, per injection. And I did that for roughly about 14 weeks. Um, it, it worked out great. Uh, it, was, it went fabulous. Um, I was able to gain about nine pounds of solid solid like dry muscle um i got a lot bigger uh, my shoulders i i pound upper body a lot because i like to have like more of kind of like a fighter's build so i do a lot of upper body training um so i just try to get my fucking arms and shoulders and and chest as as fucking big as possible and it helps that if you pound on a body part when you're on trembolone it, it just like any other body part it fucking grows so I did that. I looked great. Uh, I felt good. There's more vascularity. Um, I was able to get about 100, up to 190 pounds in body weight, which is, is tough for me to do. I mean, when I started this, I was 165 pounds. Um, so I was able to get up to 190, and I'm like as lean now at like probably one, well, maybe not 190. When I'm around 188, I'm as lean as I was when I was like 165. I mean, my abs show at 185 now, and I mean, just obviously because you know careful use of this shit over a couple years and a couple of smart cycles um okay so what do i think about trembolone enanthate post cycle i think it's a lot more stable than trembolone acetate trembolone acetate comes on really hard i've done both i did some dragon pharma uh trembolone acetate mixed with test propionate and masteron it's called cut mix shout out to fucking dragon pharma because that's some legit shit Put in my comments if you know where you can get get some Dragon Pharma stuff. Let me fucking know. Let your boy, <laughs> let your boy out love you too know because I that shit's legit. Um, that was like my first three cycles. I had a uh, I had a source that I could get Dragon Pharma. Um, <clears throat> so, moving on. I've done both. I've done acetate. I've done enanthate. Now, I only did uh, 150 milligrams of acetate when I was running it per week. This time I ran 300 milligrams of of trenbolone enanthate. Um, because trem trembolone enanthate is a little bit less powerful. It's a little, uh, less of the less of the hormone is actually in the carrier because of the carrier oil. Because the uh, ester is taking up um, a little bit more percentage of what what is in the fucking vial. Uh, that's how I understand it. I mean, I'm not a chemist. I don't mix a shit. Um, I just know the bro science behind it. So. Um, it's more stable. I had less side effects. I wasn't having night sweats every night. I slept fine. Um, my sex drive was like fucking through the roof. Like it was like R. Kelly levels of horniness. Uh, so just let your old lady know. Like if you're gonna do trenbolone, uh, any trenbolone, and combine with testosterone, which you should. Testosterone should always be your base. Um, yeah, let your significant other know that. Uh, it's gonna be it's gonna it's gonna be time for Pound Town. Um, if you're that type of motherfucker, they can they can take her there. But again, I digress. So I was able to put on a lot of weight. I was able to put on quality size. Like I wasn't getting fat. My diet was pretty dialed in. But I can I mean you can eat a lot more. You could be a little bit more flexible with Trembolone because it's like it's the nutrition partitioning with Trembolone like really works. Like the shit, everything you fucking eat seems to go to like. <laughs> creation of lean tissue I mean that's why Trembolone like why people love it because that's what it does um, and it does it well it, and, and, and if they didn't make it any different um, 300 milligrams felt fine I probably could have run 400 but I only bought enough to run 300 for a certain number of weeks so I'd rather time it out and run the short uh, run the short shit plus if you're gonna stay on some shit for a little while to see like you're not gonna instantly have a fucking reaction to it like you gotta kinda be on it to like really see if you're gonna have some like bad side effects. The problem with enanthate is that with the longer esters that once you start having side effects, you're gonna have them side effects for like <laughs> probably three fucking weeks. Acetate will be in and out of your system real quick, but um, but not enanthate. So once you get them side effects, if you have it, you fucked. 
So that's why they say, even though acetate is more powerful, they tell people when you try Trenbolone the first time, you should try acetate because if you're sensitive to it, it'll be in and out of your system quick. If you try anything first, first right off the gate, and you don't, and your body doesn't like Trenbolone, and trust me, I have friends. Go to evolutionary.org. I hang out with all them bros over there, and stop being a bitches. Just go over there and just get some knowledge. Be be older than fucking twenty. Don't come over there with no shit. Like I'm a teenager and I want to start gear. Because there's some guys over there like myself that uh, are a lot older and they've been doing it a little while longer, and they know that starting gear when you're fucking 18, 19, 20. <laughs> Start gearing your 35 and under isn't even isn't smart. I don't think. I think you can get plenty big. Uh, I mean, I waited into my 40s. I did one cycle when I was like 29, and I, my fucking, tr- I didn't even train hard, and I, my diet was all fucked up. It did nothing for me, and it shouldn't, because you got to be fucking dedicated, and you got to use your fucking head. So go on Evolutionary, man. Shout out to all those guys on there. Um, fucking Gash Red in Hollywood asking for dick pics. Um, all right, so. What have I done since? I ran out of Trembolone, but I don't want to come off. I'm a blasting cruiser. I stay the fuck on. Um, you may say that's fucking dumb, but I bring my cruise dose down way super low. Like it's down like 75 milligrams every four days. I bring my test back into like my, my measured test. All my blood work gets done. I get my measured test at about 700 to 750. That's normal. My sex drive is good. I don't, I don't have to, I don't even run an AI. Fuck that. <clears throat> um, Oh, also during my cycle, I forgot to say, I was using Anastrozole. I was taking half a, half a tablet, like everyone says. I was taking that Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Had no gynecomastia whatsoever. I didn't have no estrogen shit going wrong with me. No anxiety at night. No fucking uh, crying over dumb shit. Well, I do a little bit of that, but that happens every time I run gear. Um, I, it just gets you more emotional. I think there's a, a hormone fluctuation that happens and you just get more emotional. Uh, I don't know, maybe Anastrozole makes you emotional, I don't know, uh, fucking I know that Clomid makes you emotional, I know that, and that's why I don't like to cycle, that's why I blast and cruise, you do what you want, I'll do what I want, uh, so, but I didn't want to come off, and then I was lucky, I was blessed that a friend of mine said, hey, I have some free equipoise that you can have, like, t- like three vials of it, and it was enough to run a cycle of equipoise, because equipoise is a, a undesalinate Esther, it's like hella long. It's like a 21 day half life or some bullshit. Don't quote me on that because I'm not gonna have like in the comments like motherfuckers. He said 21 days. No, but it's a long. It's fucking. It's a long time. Uh, Boldenone undecelinate is equipoise. I never run it before and I wanted to. So he gave me some free uh, some free shit. So I started running it with tests. So I'm running 600 milligrams a week of equipoise and currently 500 milligrams a week of test, but I'm going to take that down to about 300 here in about another week. I want to make my test last longer and I kind of want to get, because <laughs> after blasting, I mean, I've been blasting for probably 14 weeks and my test is probably, uh, I'm getting blood work done. In fact, this Monday. So I'm shit. It's probably at 2,500. Um, if I got anything less than 2000, I'd probably be stunned. Um, but we'll see. I'm going to post my blood work on evolutionary. So by Monday we'll know uh, but still I want to bring that fucking down I want to do like like 300 a week and then my test will be at uh, the rule of five my test will be at like 1500 I mean I even go lower than that guys that do like 250 milligrams of test if you do your blood work it's you multiply times five the, number, the amount of tests you're taking your test production goes to zero so don't even count your fucking natural test production that's gone and then whatever your dosage is 250 milligrams a week 250 times 5 is 1500 that's roughly where you should be in uh, like NG per deciliters when you measure your uh, testosterone you get your blood work done it's a free tip I learned that on evolutionary um, so I'm rolling into my equipoise I'm three weeks into my equipoise uh, cycle I fucking love equipoise it's like the opposite of fucking trend below and it gives you more cardio I feel like I can lift weights for, for days I don't really get winded um, it's got a little bit of, it's got a little bit of like nitrogen retention in the muscles. Like your typical, it's a derivative of testosterone. It's no different. Um, it has a very, very, very low estrogenic activity. So you don't need to fucking, you don't have to worry uh, about, you can get more testosterone with less chances of any estrogen like side effects. I'm still running my AI Monday, Wednesday, Friday, half a tab. I'm good to go. No gyno. Uh, <clears throat> I can watch the notebook without crying. Um, so I'm good. And I love it. Equipoise is good. My my vascularity, everyone says, oh, it's, it makes you vascular. It makes me fucking hungry. 
I want to fucking eat everything in the fucking house, literally. Maybe because someone was saying, "Hey, in the comments, tell me." I always thought Echopoise was a finishing steroid, uh, and and now it seems like I was reading it was a good bulking compound. But I've never heard. I mean, I've never really heard of people using like using Echopoise for bulking. So, uh, school me on that. Um, but it seems like a good bulky steroid because I am hungry as shit, and I'm a hard I'm a hard appetite guy. I it, I find it hard to have a, like a really really big appetite, but uh, I had an appetite, so um, so that's it, man. I'm 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 sh I'm showing like a little bit more density in the gym, equipoises, and the testosterone is making my fucking and my lifts are all good. They're all up. Everything looks good. My body looks good. I feel good. Um, that's it. So I'm gonna run this equipoise. And I'm going to take the test down to 300 just to kind of finish off my cycle. Then I'm just going to go back right into a cruise dosage. I'll pull back on my AI. I don't need to run an AI when I do my cruise dose. I don't get gyno, even though I'm super gyno prone. If I go anything past a, a cruise dosage of tests, dude, my nipples will light up like fucking the 4th of July player. I can't even lean against a preacher bench. So, all right. So again, man, Dragon Pharma, shout out to them. Let me know if I can get it, you know hit subscribe, yo, if you like this video, I'm gonna try to do more videos, I just, I gotta work on my YouTube skills, so, alright man, I love you, sign out, deuce.